Danbury Library, and today we're going to be celebrating Valentine's Day. But do you know what Valentine's Day is all about? Well, let's find out, and then we're going to be reading a book and making a special craft. Are you ready? Let's do it! So what is Valentine's Day? Let's learn a little bit more about this holiday with the book Valentine's Day by Katie Gillespie. You can find this book on Hoopla using your library card. Valentine's Day is celebrated on February 14th every year. It is a day to celebrate love and friendship. But it's not only celebrated in, Amer in America. In fact, people all over the world celebrate Valentine's Day, including in Australia, Canada, France, Mexico, and the United Kingdom. It is a time for people who are in love to show their appreciation for each other. Many people also celebrate with family or friends, and anyone can take part in this special day. Valentine's Day has been celebrated for more than 1,500 years. It was named after a man called Saint Valentine. In fact, there were at least three Christian saints named Valentine who were all martyrs. Martyrs are people who give up their lives to defend their beliefs. No one knows for sure which St. Valentine the holiday is named after. Even though they have different stories, each one is considered a romantic hero. Although there was more than one St. Valentine, the holiday is likely named after a priest who continued performing secret weddings for couples in love, even after Emperor Claudius II made marriage illegal. This Valentine lived in Rome, Italy. Valentine was put in jail for his actions and sentenced to death. Some people think that Valentine's Day is held on February 14th in honor of the anniversary of Valentine's death in 270 AD. People around the world send Valentine's Day cards for Valentine's Day. According to legend, Valentine fell in love with his jailer's daughter. He sent her a letter, which he signed, from your Valentine. Sending cards called Valentines became popular in England in the 18th century. The first mass-produced Valentines in the United States were sold in 1847. People still send Valentines today, and they often use the phrase, from your Valentine. come together on Valentine's Day. They spend time with loved ones and give each other gifts. Some people celebrate by getting dressed up and going out to eat a fancy meal. In addition to sending Valentine's, it's also traditional to give gifts to loved ones. Gifts can be store-bought or made by hand. Children often make special crafts to give friends and family. One way to celebrate Valentine's Day is to read poetry. Some of the most Famous love poems were written by William Shakespeare. He was a poet who wrote 154 poems called sonnets, many of which are about love. The oldest love poem was written by the Sumerians. They were the first human civilization in history. This poem was found in the 1880s and translated in 1951. It was written on a clay tablet. Some people send flowers on Valentine's Day. Roses are one of the most popular choices. Roses have many different meanings depending on their color. Many people choose red roses as Valentine's Day gifts because they are associated with true love. Yellow roses are symbols of friendship, friendship and joy. Pink roses are traditionally given as a sign of admiration or appreciation. Hearts are also a symbol of Valentine's Day. They stand for feelings of friendship and love. In ancient times, people thought that the human heart was the center of all emotion. Hearts became a symbol of love because it was such a strong emotion. People all over the world continue to associate love and romance with the heart. This is why the, the shape is used to make valentines, boxes of chocolates, and other Valentine's Day gifts. Many people also like to give candy as a Valentine's Day gift. Special chocolates are made every year just for the holiday. In 1861, Richard Cadbury started selling heart-shaped boxes of chocolates. People could reuse the boxes to store love letters after eating the candy. Box chocolates are still given as Valentine's Day gifts today. 
In fact, people give about 36 million heart-shaped boxes of Valentine's Day chocolates each and every year. To learn more about Valentine's Day, you can check out this book and others at the Danbury Library. Well, now that we know all about Valentine's Day, why don't we read a special book where some friends make Valentine's for each other? Are you ready? Valentine's Day. Story by Anne Rockwell and pictures by Lizzie Rockwell. Today is going to be a busy day at school. We're making valentines for a special friend. We need lots of things to make our valentines with. Mrs. Madoff and Mr. Sisko will help us with our messages. Mine says, please be my valentine. I miss you. Mrs. Kelly misses you too. Love, Sam. Nicholas makes one that says, I want you to be my valentine because you always let me take a turn on the slide and you never push or shove. Sarah's valentine is pink. Her valentine says, I miss you every single day, especially when it's snack time. Charlie draws an airplane on his valentine. He loves airplanes. And Charlie wishes he could ride on an airplane too. Jessica wrote a poem. It says, I love you. Your shoes are blue. And mine are too. I like the way you rhymes with blue and too. writes his name all by himself in fancy red letters. Emmeline puts a line of gold glitter glue around the edge of a big red paper heart. She pastes lace and lots of shiny stickers onto it. I'm making a super special valentine, she says, because she gave me a super special birthday present. Pablo's valentine has a picture of a happy fish. It says, will you be my valentine? Your friend, Pablo. Kate's valentine is a picture of a red and heart-shaped flower. There's a kite in the sky, too. After we put our valentines in a big envelope, Mrs. Madoff writes the address on it. We walk to the post office together. Mrs. Madoff gives the postal worker some money, and she gives Mrs. Madoff enough stamps to send our big envelope all the way to Japan. On Wednesday, we decorate a big box. Thursday is Valentine's Day. Each of us brings one Valentine to school. We drop our valentines in a secret box. It doesn't matter which of my friends picks mine. On Valentine's Day, Mrs. Madoff shows us a package with lots of stamps on it. Who do you suppose this is from, she says. Guess what? Mikiko sent us a valentine from Japan. They got here just in time. This is a picture of me and my grandmother and grandfather from Jap in Japan. I've told them all about you, so they like you too. Happy Valentine's Day. Love, Mikiko. Then we pull a valentine from a secret box. Sam, who's yours from? Nicholas asks. It's from you, I say. And mine is from you, Nicholas says. Happy Valentine's Day. I love to make Valentine's for my friends. 
Would you like to make a special Valentine for your friend or a loved one? Let's do it. Today, we're gonna to be making a very special Valentine's Day card made with puzzle pieces. Are you ready? To make today's Valentine, you'll need some construction paper, some crayons, some glue, scissors, and then some heart stickers or any kind of stickers you'd like, and some puzzle pieces. If you don't have these wooden puzzle pieces from the library, you can use some puzzle pieces from your house. Maybe you have an old puzzle that has missing pieces and you want to repurpose them to make your puzzle piece valentine. First, we need to make our card base. So I'm going to just use a standard card. And I'm gonna do it long ways like this, but maybe you wanna turn yours into a heart where you can draw a half heart on the side of your paper and then cut it out. Or maybe you wanna use your card this way. I'm going to put mine horizontally like this. Next, I'm gonna use my puzzle pieces to make a heart on the front. Now you can do this in a lot of different ways. You can just layer them on top of one another to make the outline of a heart like this. with something like this. Or maybe you want to use your puzzle pieces to make a heart pattern like this. I did this by making a pattern with one, two, three, four on the sides. So a V, a four, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's like this, this kind of pattern. I'm gonna pop out my middle piece so it's a missing piece of the heart. And I'm gonna glue my heart right onto the front of my card. And then I'm going to color my heart in. Next, I'm gonna use the, some stickers to decorate my heart. Once the outside is decorated, let's move to the inside. I'm going to make mine about a missing piece. I have a lot of different sayings you can use for the inside of your card here. Once you pick your saying, you can decorate the inside of your card. You can get as creative as you want. And once you're done, there you have your very own puzzle piece Valentine's Day card. Well, I hope you had fun today learning about Valentine's Day and making your own special Valentine. Stay tuned for more programs and story time soon from the Danbury Library. And I'll see you soon. Bye.